If you're wondering why I look and sound like doggy poop, because that is exactly how I feel. <laughs> If you watched our last video that was uploaded on Monday, Felipe was sick. He's finally getting over it now, but now I have it. The first like two or three days that he was sick, I really only had like a mild sore throat and like a runny nose every now and then, but it wasn't really all that until the night before yesterday. My throat started hurting way more. And then when I woke up, I felt like absolute doo-doo. I had a fever yesterday. Um, it's gone down a little bit. I think I haven't checked it since last night. I still feel like crap and I'm drinking this nasty stuff to hopefully make me feel better. Alrighty, it is just me today. Felipe is at work at the moment. I thought we can just kind of do like a get ready with me plus get to know me kind of thing. So kind of just like talk about myself because who doesn't want to know about me? I'm just amazing. I'm kidding. Just to make the video a little more interesting and you guys aren't just watching me get ready. So I thought I could just like throw in some facts about myself so you guys can learn a little bit more about me. Also, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just getting ready to sit right back in that bed that's behind me. I'm gonna do this video and I'm gonna take it all off and go back and lay down. We did hit 500 subscribers yesterday, which is amazing that we finally got to that freaking number because it's been taking so long. We were stuck for a little while. Our numbers were not changing, but finally we got some more people joining the family. So that's good. We will have a fun video as like a little celebration coming up this weekend with Philippa. So stay tuned for that. If this is the first time that you guys are watching our videos, if you're brand new to our channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. And let's just get into the video. If you guys want to join me, if you guys got somewhere to go, something to get ready for, you guys can get ready with me. Hopefully this video won't be too long. Or you guys just want to watch, that's okay too. All right, today's look isn't really going to be too dramatic. So I think I really just kind of want to do like a look as if I were to actually go out somewhere, like somewhere nice. Might make it a little more dramatic. Might do a little bit extra on the eyes just for fun because why not typically though my like everyday makeup doesn't really consist of much i've really slimmed it down um so i don't really wear i don't really wear all that much makeup anymore first i just put on first i just put on the elf putty primer to smooth out my face a little bit all right spongy is wet this stuff just isn't good I'm drinking that like Alka-Seltzer stuff, supposed to help you, whatever, I don't know. Anyways, um, oh, I forgot to wet my sponge, I'll be back. First up, I'm gonna start with concealer. I use the one by Kosas. Also, don't mind the raggedy ass mirror. I've had this thing since like middle school and I haven't bothered to get a new one because it's still holding on, so. I still use this thing. I don't use foundation anymore. I really only use concealer. And whenever I do my makeup for like work or just anything, I really only put conceal like barely a dot or two under my eye just to get rid of some kind of dark circle. And that's really all I do. Like I don't really bother with anything else. Like obviously if I have some like spots on my face that I want to cover up, every now and then I will. But I'm at a point where like I don't really care to like cover up spots and stuff. As you can clearly tell, I have this giant thing in the middle of my face. That's all I'm gonna do for now, just to make me look a little more alive. All right, let's get to talking about myself because I know you guys are just dying to know more about me. Um, my name is VNA, for those who don't know. Spells a little bit almost like Vienna Sausage, but not sure where it came from. So many people ask me. Um, I just know that my aunt is the one who really named me. I was born in El Paso, Texas, which isn't you know, the most exciting place. But, um, from what I've heard, it definitely has developed a little bit more. So I think they have a little more going on over there, but not really a place that like you want a vacation to. Moved to Florida when I was nine, basically lived there my whole life. Currently living in Alaska with my husband because he is in the Air Force and this is where he is stationed at. I am 20 years old, my birthday is in October. So I'll be 21 in a few months. And yes, I am married. Got married last summer, 2022. That's a whole other story in itself. Not really gonna get into too much detail there because we have videos talking about it. So you guys can check those out if you're really curious. We got married when I was 19 actually. And my husband was 20, he will be 21 in like two weeks. I have three siblings, they're all younger. I'm the oldest. I have two sisters and one brother. I have a brother and sister in Florida, and I have the youngest sister in 
Texas and El Paso. I kind of just did like my eyebrows and concealer as of right now. I think I'm gonna start going in with some eyeshadow and I'm using the Morphe palette. I don't know which one this one is. Really just like a natural shade range going on here. I wasn't really much of a sports kid, which is funny because both of my parents were pretty active throughout the time that they were in high school, my dad did like all kinds of sports possible. My mom was a runner and I do none of those things. Running is most definitely not my thing. I can do like short distance running, but I really have to like run for a little bit before I get into it. Definitely not a long distance runner. I, I just can't. However, I got into hip hop as soon as we moved to Florida. I joined this like little aftercare program at the elementary school that I went to. And from there, the choreographer owned her own studio and a few friends of mine had also been dancing at the studio. So they told me to try it out and fell in love with it from the very beginning. And that's basically what I did for the next like nine years of my life. That's really all I ever had time for, honestly, because of the amount of like groups that I was in. Um, I would do like theater productions with that. And then plus like regular dance classes. I didn't really have time to be doing anything else or like hanging out with other people, which I didn't mind, like that's what I chose to do. I did that up until I graduated. I was a little band nerd for a little bit. I joined band in sixth grade and honestly, I really enjoyed it, but it did get to a point where like I had to choose between band and dance because practices and like performances and concerts just kind of interfered with each other. So I had to choose one or the other, which I chose dance, obviously, but I did enjoy band. I played the clarinet. I was a little squidward. What colors do I want? I think I'm kind of just doing more of like a brown smoky look. On the topic of hobbies, I got into doing makeup around freshman year. I just kind of taught myself how to do stuff, but always buy a bunch of palettes and, you know, just mess around and make crazy looks. Over the years, I started doing makeup for like friends and family if they had events or like for performances that we did for dance or competitions. My senior year, I created like a makeup page on TikTok where I just kind of did like either basic looks like these or I kind of got into like doing characters. I'll put up a few videos so you guys can see, but I did Coraline, which was one of the looks that blew up on my page. I think it took me like five to six hours to do, but it's definitely one of my best characters that I had did. I would want to continue doing more stuff like that, but I just like don't have the space at the moment. Our office slash like my little studio thing isn't exactly set up yet. Once I do get a desk and have all of that finished up, then I might get into it more. What else is there to know about me? Currently work at Lululemon, but I was able to transfer from Florida to here. My first job was Burger King. That was not the most exciting time of my life. But I started working at like 14, 15 years old. And at that time, it's like I didn't really need money, but I have a shopping problem and I like buying things. So and also because I, at that time I had made a deal that if like I wanted an iPhone, I needed to get it myself. So I got a job right away and Burger King was the only one available. And also just like the closest to my house because it was literally like a five minute drive. And I think the biggest check that I ever got from there was probably like 300 something dollars and i thought that was like the most amazing thing ever and really when i look back at it now that really isn't even much that's not even my car payment it was enough for what i needed at that time so yeah i did that for a little bit and then i started working at the dance studio that i was going to so i really spent a lot of my time at the studio since i was like taking my classes and then i would also teach before so my class that i would attend was always like the last class of the day so i would just work um, as soon as I got out of school up until my class started. And I basically did that up until I graduated. I'm allergic to pineapple and kiwi. At first I didn't know I was allergic. I used to eat them a lot when I was younger and then I would get a reaction every time that I ate them, but I just kind of ignored it until I got older and I was like, yeah, this probably isn't normal. I think this is all I want to do, like eyeshadow wise. Come out. There you go. Might just add a little bit of black on the bottom. <sighs> I love fries. That's something that you wanted to know. McDonald's fries are definitely the best. I do love a good Chick-fil-A fry. McDonald's fries are just something else. I do love Chick-fil-A a lot, but sadly there are no Chick-fil-A's up here in Alaska. Or a Dunkin', which are like my two favorite chains. So that was a little disappointing when I moved up here, but at least we still have Starbucks. Cause if there was no Starbucks here, I don't think I could have moved here. My favorite drink is probably root beer. I know not a lot of people like root beer, but I like, it's probably a Texas thing. I don't know. Hey, you're in a swing. 
from the chandelier. It's hot. I would open a window, but we do live on a military base and jets are constantly flying. So I don't think you'll be able to hear much of me if I open up a window. I always want to blend people or else you look like a damn raccoon, especially when you're using black. Otherwise you look like you got punched in the face. <laughs> Ugh. Bless me. What else should we do to my face? Probably put mascara on. I feel like there's nothing else interesting about me. Oh my God. So many boogers. I do my own nails. That's something that I got into over quarantine, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the whole like COVID year. At first I started with acrylic nails and Jesus Christ, that was a mistake. So then I got into doing dip, the nail stuff. Not, isn't that like a, a drug thing? Isn't that the stuff you put in like your cheek? I don't, I don't know. I started doing dip nails. Now that my eyeballs are complete, we are gonna add some color to my face. So I don't look like Casper the ghost. They're looking a little harsh. So I'm gonna sit here and blend for forever. All right, that seems fine. I just noticed I messed up. The blush that I'm using is a liquid blush. And then anything liquid is supposed to go first. And then you do powder products on top of it. We'll see how well this blends. I definitely prefer liquid products rather than powdery products because I'm not trying to look like the Sahara Desert on my face. I just, I love a good blush. I'll even add it like on my nose, make it look a little rosy. Oh, that might have been too much. I don't think there's anything else interesting to talk about myself. So that is me, really. Kind of just gave you like a rundown about my life. Um, I'm gonna add some lip gloss. I think that's it. I'm gonna take this thing off because it's hurting. I got my hair done finally. My roots were grown out by like three inches. I don't really trust anybody to cut my hair other than the lady that I go to back home in Florida. So until I go back, I'm just not gonna cut it here. Any hoosies, I think that is it for this video. We got the look complete. You guys learned a little bit about me. If you guys really cared, stay tuned for this weekend. As I mentioned, we will have that like celebration for hitting 500 subscribers coming out. But other than that, that is gonna conclude today's video. If this is the first time that you're watching one of our videos, welcome. Hope you made a subscriber out of you. Join the family. Like, comment, and share videos with friends and family. Enjoy the rest of your day, evening, night, whatever the situation may be for you. And I will see you guys in the next video.